We're down here in Belize fishing on Thatch Key, which is a Moy Ono resort, a beautiful nine and a half acre island in southern Belize. And we're gonna be targeting the hardest fish to catch on the fly rod, permit and tarpon. We're gonna be guided by Marlin from Blue Horizon Belize, and I'm super excited to be down here and fishing because this is my first time targeting permit on the fly. The flats surrounding our island are world-class, and some people say they're some of the best flats in the world to fish for permanent tarpon. To get to Thatch Key, we landed in Belize City and hopped on a quick commuter flight about 30 minutes south down to Dangriga, a coastal town in southern Belize. From there, we were picked up by Thatch Key Resort for about a 20, 25 minute beautiful ride over to the lodge. When we arrived at Thatch Key, we were greeted by the staff with a nice cold drink. Seeing the resort in person made me even more excited to get out on the water tomorrow. The next morning, we met with our guide, Marlin, to go over the game plan and the strategy for targeting permit and tarpon. Now, I've never fly fished for permit before, and I've been told they're the hardest fish to catch on the fly rod, so listening to Marlin was very educational for me, and I knew I was gonna be in for a huge challenge. For permit, especially your bone fish, yeah, you keep, you keep your rod down like this. You wanna keep it right down to the water. Yeah. The reason for that, you have a straight, tight line. As the fish touch it, you can feel him and stick him. So you don't want any if band you lift, If you keep it up like this, yeah. there's that big play right there from the tip of the rod to the water. Right. By the time you set, take that out, he already spit your fly. Wow. Quick as that, like wow. fraction of a second. Really, hey? So you keep it right on the water or, or a little bit in the water. Strip. Strip, you feel something, strip set. Or you crawl it. It's just a slow, steady. All you're doing is keeping the line tight. And you mm -hmm. start again, you come to the side here, you crawl it, crawl it. Then I would say, check it. But if I say set or strip set. A little harder. Yeah, okay. but right to the side of the thigh. Strip set, bah. That's, that's it. Because these fish have big, fleshy lips. It don't take much to set the hook. But with the, with the movement, you gotta be subtle and then you gotta be ready to set it. After our talk with Marlin, we headed out on the water to go permit fishing. A lot of factors contribute to success when you're targeting permit. And one of the things that I learned that was crucial is fishing for these permit on an incoming tide. But as the tide floods in, these fish will come up on these flats and that's when they'll start to feed and things like that. So timing is everything and you wanna, you wanna catch a long incoming flood tide so you have more shots at these tailing fish. Another reason permit are so difficult to catch is they're an extremely skittish fish. Like I've never seen a species of fish as erratic as these permit. Little things like a bird flying overhead will send a fish rocketing into the deep water and he's gone. You won't have any chance at all. And your casting has to be absolutely perfect. If you line that fish, it's gone. No chance at all. I mean, what Marlon was telling me was you have to basically put it put your fly on the dinner plate. So essentially, imagine the diameter of a dinner plate and you have to put that fly that distance right in front of the fish's nose. And even sometimes, he says, when you make the perfect cast, he still might not even hook up. And furthermore, the takes are very, very subtle. And if you have any slack in your line at all, you will never feel the bite. So all these things add up to a huge challenge and make these fish extremely difficult to hook. Right there, see him. 35. 
feet. 25 feet. Cast him? Yeah. Just go longer. Go right of him? A little more left, left, left. Ah. Right there. Drop it short, yes. Right there. Right there. Keep it tight. Strip set. Check it. Stop. Trick. Strip. Strip. <laughs> My heart's racing. Yes. <laughs> He's right there. Yes. He went past him a little bit. He's he got happy. He's gotta be here still. Yeah. That was awesome. Yes. That was that was an awesome experience. It's, what a day. I mean I know we did I know we didn't hook up, but hey. Yeah, it's fishing. My first day of permit fishing was was actually incredible. Didn't hook up a fish that wasn't in the cards. We've got a really early morning again tomorrow on an incoming tide. I can't wait to get back on the water. So the plan first thing this morning is actually to wait a little bit for the perfect tide on the permit and go target some resident tarpon. I've tarpon fished a couple times in my life and for me, I don't know if there's anything more exciting than hooking up a tarpon. When you get a tarpon bite, your rod is literally almost pulled right out of your hands. You feel that strike and it's just hold on because that fish is going to be launching and peeling line in no time. So it's like six inch strip, you give it like one to 15 count. That should take it on like 15, 20 feet. And then you strip it back like this. Strip, pause. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. And then you repeat the same thing. One, one, two. Okay. What that does, it makes the fly look injured. It comes up, then it sink, it looks like that. We're in the zone. Marlon's got us right in the zone. Fish are rolling. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah! Sideways and down. <laughs> wow! Ow! <laughs> yeah, <Whoa>. baby! <laughs> yeah. My heart just about comes through my chest, man. Oh, when you hit that thing, it's like, ah! It's free train. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Yes! This is what is so opposite of what we're used to doing up fishing salmon or halibut or trout even. When he jump, you don't even bow to the king no more. <laughs> you just give him a little ease, you know. The silver king. Keep that rod low, that's the ticket. But this is, like I said, is, is so different than everything I've learned about fishing as far as rod tip up, you know, keep everything tight. This is keep your rod pointed right to the water, sideways pressure and don't give him anything. Oh, here we go. Nice head shakes. Low and sideways. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, he's off. Oh, he's oh, off. He just came he's out. He's off. That, that full, hook just full, man. Full pressure on him, right? Like, yeah, just full you, tension. You did what you had to do. Oh, no. That's how it goes <laughs> with these fish. <laughs> uh. I had an unbelievable take. Rod almost ripped right out of my hand. Had this fish hooked up. Yeah, I thought he was on solid. The next thing you know, he was gone. And, and that's fishing. We hung in tarpon fishing a little bit longer because every once in a while, we could see some fish surfacing. But the tide was starting to move in and we knew it was the perfect time to make a move to go target permit again. Yeah, there he is. See him? I see him, he's behind it. He's right behind the white. See him moving right to left. Yeah. He's just riding high in the water, hey? Okay, slow down, Hart. Make a shot. Make shot? Between the fish and the log. Kind of facing you. Is that a go? Right there, right there. He's going to the right. Strip out. You? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Go to him. A little bit, right? He's facing left. That's too far. Okay. Oh, oh. And left, a little bit left. Good. Leave it right there. Start crawling. Go. Right there. Shoot. 
Oh, that's there. Eat that. Oh, he's falling. Cast again, cast again. Oh, you're right there. Quick, quick, quick. Shoot, shoot. Oh, he's lined him. Strip, strip, strip. Stop. Crawl it. Keep crawling. A lot of times when they spook like that, they come right back. It looked like it landed. I didn't see it go far past the fish. Kind of like hit him on the head. Pretty cool when you finally do see them and they're and they're finning and their tails are up and they're they kind of move erratic. You know, they're feeding, their tails are up, and then they turn left, right, and you gotta be precise with your casting. We put a couple of good casts in there, but no uh, no takes yet. No takes yet. We'll keep trying. It's our last full day of fishing here, and I'm more excited than ever to get back out on the water and target these tarpon and target the permit. We're gonna do the same game plan because of the tides, tarpon in the morning, permit in the afternoon. I really feel like I'm getting into my groove with both of these fish, and I feel very confident that things are gonna end positively today as far as hooking up and catching a fish. So Marlon, I noticed the language you're speaking is pretty similar to English. What exactly is it? It's called Creole. It's, it's not an official language in Belize. English is an official language. Yeah. It derived from English, yeah. Eng England English, so, and um, we say you just take proper English and chop it up. Chop it up. <laughs> if I meet you the first time, yeah. you know, and you won't say, hi, how you doing? We say, where they going? Where they going? Like, What's going on? Where they going? You say, where they going? Where they going? Yeah, well, you speak it fast, so you know, it's like, everything sounds like one word, you know? Gotcha. And that's Creole, you speak it very fast. And it was like a way for the slaves back then to confuse the, uh, the English slave masters, you know, so they don't understand it when we're talking about them. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, so it's man. It's like that, you know, Creole. All right. That's how it came about. Do you yeah. have any good fishing phrases for me I can practice? <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of explicit. <laughs> All X-rated stuff? Yeah. All right. All right. Well, I we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later we'll then. We'll talk about okay, that everybody? later. Yes, y'all. Hey, man. <laughs> Woo! Damn, yeah, Marlon. Hey. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah, he's down there. Huh? You got, let's keep that line tight. There he goes. All right. He's strong fish, man. Oh, man. He's a good one. He's pulling the boat. Oh, yeah. He's just, <laughs> this fish is doing what he wants to yeah. do right now. <laughs> oh, man. My arm is about to fall off already. This is what I signed up for, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Lean into him and crank that reel. Look how he's pulling this boat, Brendan. <laughs> so Marlon, you're saying this, these tarpons sometimes like to take you into the coral, hey? Yes, sir. They put their nose in it, they rub their face against it. They go down, right to the bottom, and they swim parallel to those corals. And your line get in there and you're done. That's <laughs> why I'm just hanging back, trying to keep him off. Keep him off the coral. I'm going up there on the shallow close to the reef, you know. He looked like he's right on the edge there. We got him in deep enough water. On the edge of the dark stuff there? Yeah, the edge of that dark stuff, like 11 o'clock. Oh, I don't know if there's a stronger fish. Yeah. Okay? Like this? <laughs> pound for pound. <laughs> he's like 10 pound for the pound. <laughs> now they fight to the death, you know. They will not give up. Devil tarpon, we call him. <laughs> When they jump, they tire themselves out a little quicker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? I like when they jump. Yeah, absolutely. You can get them in quicker. We got to be getting decently close. Yeah. From yeah. here now, it's a game of inches. <laughs> reel like this. You go forward, reel, 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 reel. Ease back on it. Go forward, reel, 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 reel. Ease back on it. Forward, reel, 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 reel. Reel right there. Reel, 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 reel. Put that right into use. Real, 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 real. Do you want me to walk back? You good. Good? Yeah. Got him? Got it! <laughs> 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 
tarpon, boys. Yeah, baby. Oh my god, that's incredible. We got it right there. What a fight. I'm just drenched right now. Belize tarpon. Thatch key. You ready? Hey. You ready? What's that? You want to bring him in? Yeah. Real quick. You got him? Okay. Got it. Yep. There you go. Oh, beauty. Hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Woo. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Captain Marlin, <laughs> put him in the fish, boys. What a beauty. We'll... Lovely. Oh, sorry. He's good. He's ready. He's good. Go on. He's good. <laughs> well, that wasn't the prettiest release. Yeah. <laughs> but the fish is gone. He's good. Like as he's swimming away. Oh my gosh. I'm that, happy with that. That fish was an animal. <laughs> it's a strong fish. Hey, good work, man. Thanks, Marlon. <laughs> wow. Yes, sir. I think I need some water that or something. That was sweet, dude. man. <laughs> Congrats. That was awesome. Good work. Thank man. you. I like great. the way you played it too. Oh, Rod low to the side, you know, you never oh. gave him slack. Thanks for coaching. Just kept it tight, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you were saying, if you're resting, the fish is resting, right? You exactly. gotta keep that pressure on him. And you, you think you're you think you're giving it to him. And but the rod, geez. you know, you have a, a, a strong rod, yeah. 11, 11 you weight. can put the heat on him. That uh, that new uh, G. Loomis Asquint, beautiful rod. Love that rod. Yeah. All right, like. well, let's clean up your boat, buddy, yes. and uh, <laughs> what do we got left to do today? <laughs> hey? Permit. Oh, permit for the slam. For the slam. <laughs> for I tell you. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you. <laughs> now we understand why permit fishermen are so addicted to permit fishing. When you get up on a flat, I mean, you're just constantly scanning the horizon, looking for any sign of a little flash, maybe some nervous water in the distance where you can see a fish that's moving around. But once you hone in on a fish, I mean, the intensity just ratchets right up and your heart goes from 60 to 180 like that. I mean, adrenaline rush at its finest. And Marlon was so good at spotting these fish. I mean, he's been doing it his whole life and he's a phenomenal guide just hunting these fish and it was so stealthy and we're just stalking them. We would start moving towards the fish. He would jump in the water for better control of the boat. He would get us in a good spot, good position. And I made some really good casts in there that I thought for sure these fish were gonna take. And next thing you know, fish is gone. And once that fish is gone, he, he, there's no coming back. So it's on to the next flat and you start the process again. It, the hunt is on and that's the intense thing about it. I mean, it is, an adrenaline rush, like, man, I mean, you have to experience it to, to truly understand how intense it is. Well, Marlon, I guess that's it for permit fishing. That's okay. it for sports, my brother. That, uh, man, we put in a good effort. You got us in every day in great spot. We had shots every day. And today I thought it was gonna happen. Ooh. We had a couple tight casts in there. Ooh. I could see how these fish are heartbreakers though, Ooh. hey? Like, uh, They'll be in your in your dreams, but also in your nightmares. Yeah, they don't care who you are, <laughs> where you come from. <laughs> it's when they're ready. <laughs> There's a lot of self-reflection that goes into uh, <laughs> permit fishing <laughs> when you don't hook up. It's like, man, what am I doing? Yeah, <laughs> why uh, do I do this? <laughs> that's the way it goes, though. But what, just beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. we do it because we love it, you know? It's a passion. That's the bottom line. Otherwise, we wouldn't mess with it. Right, oh, absolutely. And everybody you, wants a permit. It would drive you crazy. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I had no luck hooking up with the permit on this trip, but I can tell you what, I am fully addicted to permit fishing now, and that's probably the last thing that, <laughs> that I need with all my other fishing addictions, but these fish will consume you. Like, I was dreaming about these fish at the resort every night. You think you make that perfect cast, and next thing you know, that fish just turns and he's gone, and it just drives you absolutely berserk. But the amount of chances we got down here it was incredible. First class area to come and fish permit, and having Marlin as our guide was icing on the cake. To finish off our trip, we went on a lobster and conch hunt. So we went out, we anchored up on the edge of these flats and hunting these lobster was kind of interesting because they are nocturnal. So you need to look in uh, clusters of coral and a lot of times the first thing you see will be their antennae. They give you a, a long stick with a hook on it and that's kind of how you flush these lobster out of their hiding spots. They come out onto an open area, you kind of hover over them and you hook them in the belly and that's how you catch them. So it's like a treasure hunt down there, hunting for lobster, hunting for conch, you know, in beautiful pristine water and bringing it back to the Thatch Key Resort to have them cook it up for us for dinner was an amazing experience. 
harvesting dinner tonight. We did the uh, lobster and conch tour. That's key. It was awesome. These guys are hard to find, man. They're uh, nocturnal. They come out at night, so during the day they're kind of hiding under rocks and that, and you gotta kind of poke, poke in the coral. And, and I don't know what happened to his antennas, but usually they're about 12, 18 inches long, and that's kind of what gives them away. And conch here is a little easier to find. Just beautiful, beautiful colors there. And uh, it'll be good tonight for dinner. Our trip to Thatch Key was absolutely first class and really a trip of a lifetime. We were so lucky and fortunate to be invited down here to come and fish these waters for tarpon and permit. And you know, Marlon, our guide from Blue Horizon, was was phenomenal. Like great fisherman, just was on it. I mean, worked so hard, gave us so many chances at fish, and, and really, really a passionate angler. And ending it with kind of a, the hunter-gatherer mentality where we went out, we were able to catch lobster, we were able to catch conch, and have that prepared by the kitchen freshly for dinner when we got home. I mean, it was a tremendous experience, and the area is just overall just absolutely spectacular. Untouched paradise and it's going to be something that I'll remember for a long, long time.